there we go. We're on the air with the TV thing. Uh, and uh, let me do a few things here, folks. Uh, please don't mind if I'm taking a few seconds here to, like, uh, change things up a little bit. But I have to, uh, I have to uh, do this so I can see a picture. And hello, everybody. Let me turn on the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Skype so we can get people to join us. I'm worried about Skype tonight because I got a notification that says we've uploaded Skype and, it ha and now you have the latest version, including performance improvements and general fixes. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really believing that. Anyway, uh, our number here is if you're using Skype, it's GabNet Live. And if you are using Skype, by the way, it is very important for you to, uh, if it's the first time you've ever done it, calling us, is to uh, go up to call contact and then put in live, uh, GabNet Live, and then it will say, do you want to be made a contact? And you go, yes. And then I will see that happen. And guess what I'll do? I will accept you as exactly that. Uh, a, a, uh, and that way you can join in with all the uh, people that are here uh, and talk as we talk in a thing called uh, citizen panels. And excuse me, TV people, if I look like I'm doing stuff here, but I am doing stuff. I'm just clearing out some stuff. Okay, so now I sit here. See, this is what I do now. I sit here and I wait. Oh, okay. That's all I had to do. Hey, and what do you know? First up, it's Jason. Hello, Jason. How are you this hey. evening? How do I keep on being the first one? I don't know. I don't know. You're you're ready to well because it's the night your wife lets you off the leash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me uh, turn on the TV here so people can uh, can see you. Uh, see there, my beautiful Puno. Uh, and there he is. He's bigger than I am. Oh God! Monstrous head coming after me. And oh, uh, and uh, here comes oh Robert Nicola. Uh, and he's joining us. So, hello, Robert. Good evening to you. Good evening, Alex. Yes. Uh, t t turn up your microphone or something. Oh, there we go. Is that a little better? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Uh, you, you with the lousy Long Island bandwidth. You're the guy closest to me with the worst picture. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, what can I tell you? It's 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 uh, Long Island. Yeah. It's long. Jason wrote me. What was it yesterday or day before yesterday about steaks? Oh yeah, man. Because I I got to get the I was antibiotic say, free. When did they start putting antibiotics in steaks? Uh, probably I don't know, probably since the 80s. Well, well it's not they, they it's not it that there. they inject them with antibiotics. They feed them antibiotics, don't they? Well, they they actually inject antibiotics into them cuz they, you know, get more uh they don't want any of their livestock getting sick, so they, you know, preactively give them antibiotics, but I think that takes away from the flavor of the meat. You know, I, like I said, I grew up in the country. We used to raise our own cattle. Yeah. And uh, it was the best meat I ever had. And once I moved away, I'm not realizing, you know, I would go up to Kroger and buy some steaks and I'd cook them up and, or hamburgers and I'd cook them up and I'd be like, man, it tastes horrible. I suck at cooking. And then I got some meat from my parents and I cooked it up. And I'm like, man, this is just as good as it was when I was a so kid. So where, where, like, where do you get, and you're a little blurry tonight, Phil. What, what? Yeah. Huh? Oh, let me turn it off and on. Oh, it's clear on me. Uh, it could be your bandwidth tonight, Phil. You might have somebody in your neighborhood like have it has a family of seven and they're all watching a different Netflix movie. No, Maybe I have, I have um, Comcast cable. I don't think it matters. Uh, now Jason's blurry. Now Jason's blurry when you came on. Yeah. Oh well. well see, Phil's clear as can be to me. Really? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm the one doing the broadcasting, so I want everybody to be really clear, you know. Yeah. But if people are watching us on uh, on uh, uh, live stream, you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, Let's look at your screen again. Huh? Jason's clear as a, uh, clear as day. Now. Yeah, he's clear as day for me too. Yeah. And am I? Yeah. Uh, are you? Yeah, to me, Phil, you've been clear you, from the get. You, well, you're getting clearer. Okay. Uh, could be bad. Anyway, let's quit talking about technology. It sucks, you know. But yeah. So anyway, go to you can go to your local butcher, you know, to find out who has antibiotic-free meat. 
you know, but it might be hard in New York. But, I know. You know, I'd, I'd drive out to the country. Well, you, a, you know something? They, they should put a label on the meat saying it has antibiotics in it. I think they do, don't they? It'd be on every yes. single piece of meat. They do, they do if it doesn't have antibiotics. Well, they say they call it organic. No, uh, to a point, but still, even some organic meat, I don't think tastes like the best. Yet. Doesn't that lower our resistance to antibiotics? Yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. I, yeah. I get my dog anti-organic um, chicken breast, boneless, skinless. Do you think your dog knows the difference? <laughs> Definitely knows the difference because if I go to Safeway and get the standard stuff, she doesn't like to eat it. Also, she doesn't like it boiled. She likes it uh, put on the barbecue without anything on it. Uh, and I, I make up a, a full yeah. Yeah. breast, uh, two of you know, two of them, and and I chop them up every day. And she has it morning and, and night along with her kibble. Damn, that is one spoiled fucking dog. That does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you also got my other thing too, though, Alex. Right about getting pork steaks. Yeah, what about pork steaks? I'm not, yeah, I'm not a big they're, they're, pork guy, but yeah, except that I like, I like, oh, chop, I like, I like ribs. I like you know, pork chops. I like pork ribs, but I'm not crazy about pork chops. Pork, pork chops to me have too much of like a, a porky flavor to them. Sometimes you know, you can get real easy to get bad pork chops, but pork steaks, especially if you can get antibiotic-free pork steaks, they are so good. They're tender. You know, the, the flavor, you just put a little seasoning salt on them or something, and it, it's so good. You know, it, it, that's my favorite steak out of any steak there is in the world. And it, it kills me that restaurants don't serve it. You have to go actually go to the store, buy your own pork steaks, make them up yourself. Barbecued, you know, or put them in the oven and you know, under the broiler, really good. Yeah. yeah. It's also referred to as Boston butt or pork blade steak. I think it's pork shoulder steak. Yes, yeah, it's, it's cut from the shoulder. Uh, interesting. I didn't know pigs had shoulders. I thought they just kind of sloped down into feet. <laughs> but I, I think out of any cut of steak, pork or beef, a pork steak is the best steak. So, uh, yeah. So, so are there any big games on tonight? Might be. Because uh, we only have three callers. <laughs> hey, but I'm here. That's what counts. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I'm just wondering what happened. The, the quality of the pictures tonight is, like, not good here. Friday mm-hmm. night, man. A bunch of people didn't go out. They're shopping on Amazon. They're, They're watching Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I did the show on, I tell you, I did the show on Saturday the other night at 9 o'clock at night. And hello, Rob Alfana. And I, <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed that. Everybody's blurry. Listen, let me hang up, redo my Skype. Restart my Skype, and let me see if I can get a slightly better picture, okay? And just call me right back, uh, okay? Uh, Let me see here. Let me get rid of this, okay? Uh, uh, I got to close. Quit Skype. Okay, quit Skype. Okay, quit. All right, I just, there we go. I just quit. See, uh, by the way, it's the new Skype, you know. It's better and more improved, according to them. And it's not really. Anyway, I am now ready to take calls from those people again. And let's see if we... Oh, it says... Oh, stop. Uh Oh, hold on a second. CPU above... Try closing other apps? What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, now it's perfect streaming. Now all of a sudden it's perfect streaming. I have no idea what that's about. Uh, Phil, uh, somebody's going to have to call back here. Let me get rid of this up here. Oh, boy. Uh, So it's weird. I got Phil in some little other window on my... Really? Uh, Let me see here. Let me just get rid of that. Uh, Let me get rid of that. um, um, Okay, here we go. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Add him to the group call. Hello, Phil. Wait a minute. Where are we? Phil Meyer and Jason. There we go. Now I'm I'm waiting to see. Uh, I have to turn on my camera. Let me see here. We're adding these people, adding everybody else. Now we'll simply have my video. There we go. And now we go over uh, to uh, this, and uh, there they are again. 
Here comes Jason again. What is what is this? I thought I had Jason. Okay. Yeah, somehow you had me, but you, then yeah. now everybody. Up... It, yeah, now you're. We need your. Uh, there, there we go. Jason should come in in a second. Rob, are you there, Rob? He was. He was. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. But somehow. Uh, Phil was on a separate window to me. I clicked on that one to answer, and then Rob and Rob were there. Uh, <laughs> that was the best call that I answered. Yeah, folks, this is the promise of the Internet. Uh, you're <laughs> still uh, whirling around there, as people can see, uh, mm -hmm. if they're watching this on their uh, on their TVs. Uh, well, but every, from... everybody's picture is better. Uh, turn off your camera and turn it on again, Jason. Let's see if that will help anything. Uh Tonight, you have a game between uh, the Warriors and Cleveland. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on ESPN, and it's live. Let's see. Jason, do, do me a favor. Just hang up and call back in, okay? All right. All right. Boy, this is, you know, the, the promise of the future, folks. The promise of the future. Here comes, here comes Rob. Hello, Rob. Hello. Yeah. Now we just need to see a picture, but you're not whirling around, so start your camera this is the new uh new skype folks that they just upgraded <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's terrible it's just <laughs> terrible now for monkeys, huh? no nope. suck for gap that is if all of a sudden skype decided fuck it we're not going to support skype anymore we're only doing skype for business uh, then it'll happen might happen. You know, I mean, well, they do make money. I mean, they've made money off me this year. I, I pay for the phone number. Sometimes I'll make a call using it. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I, I mean, all right. Everybody's picture looks much better now. Maybe I should have restarted Skype earlier because they had just changed it and re-upped it and so on. Are you there, Jason? I'm here, but no. Hold on. I see if there's a slash over it. Okay, Meanwhile, there we go. You, that's there we go. Whir whirling around now. Let's see. There we go. Now, bravo, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody is with us now. Ah, that's wonderful. Uh, so anyway, so we were talking about steaks. Mm. Mm, yummy steaks. And I just, as I said, I find the meat is just not as pleasurable as it once was. Now, I, I thought maybe that had something to do with me. Maybe my taste buds were going south. Or something like that, but uh, you say that's not the case. It's the yeah, I, I really because like I said, when I moved out of my parents' house and I started barbecuing on my own, I'm just like, dude, I suck. I'm horrible at barbecuing. I'm putting seasoning salt, Lowry seasoning salt. You know, I'm cooking the same way I thought my dad was cooking it, and you know, it was just it was horrible. But then I got some meat from them, and it tasted great. And then I realized, you know, hey, it's the it's the antibiotics and the meat that yeah. You know, it's how they age the meat. Uh, yeah, I buy, most of the time I buy the meat from uh, Whole Foods. And there's definitely a difference between the quality I get there and the quality I get at Safeway. Phil, you know how my meat is aged? It sits in my freezer for six months before I use it. Oh, no, no, no. I never yeah. freeze. And I guarantee to you, I could take a steak out of my freezer that's antibiotic-free, you know, grass-fed cattle, Cook it up, you'd never know it was in a freezer. Oh, that's sacrilege. Why would you freeze it? You know, I, yeah, just, I don't. I, 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 well, I don't believe in freezing steak. It, it just when you when you grow up on a farm and you raise your own cattle, you're not going to eat a whole fucking cow in a week, and you got to freeze it. No, you sell most of the cow to the guy down the street, and you eat <laughs> some of it, and you slaughter another cow. You know? Grow, well, every time you want a steak, you got to slaughter a cow. You're going to need a shitload of cows yeah, yeah. to slaughter. Yeah. Well, growing up in Texas in the early 70s and 80s, they would give you a free freezer if you bought a cow. and they. Yes, that. I remember that. They did that in California, too. They did that everywhere, I think. Yeah, it was food services. They yeah. did it in New York as well. You buy a whole cow, they chop it up, and they deliver it to you in a freezer that's yours. It was one of those, uh, uh, oh. you know, free, you know, those, what do you call freezers that, you know, you yeah, in, deep, in movies, yeah. they when they kill deep somebody, freeze. they put them in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you put <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, in pieces. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well. Who's the? Oh, yeah, I want to get one of those air vacuum machines. 
for my meat and then freeze it because I think that'd be a better way of freezing I have, it. I have one of those air vacuum machines. Yeah, and, and yeah I've heard you talk about they, it. They do work, yeah. and uh, I I put it in there and I don't freeze it. I just uh, I put the steaks in the vacuum as soon as I buy them. I put them in the vacuum bag, and I put them in the refrigerator. And you know by the time I'm done eating those six or seven steaks, uh, they're still they're still good. And, when, uh, when you freeze it, it's good for years. Yeah, well, I wouldn't keep them. Yeah, I, you know, I guess you could, but uh, well, the the vacuum keeps it from pre getting freezer burn. Okay, that's true. It, you know, that's true. It, it, you could probably keep them in there for a year if you're lucky. So and yeah. that's well, that's what I normally do with meat. Is about a year is what mm -hmm. it lasts. I think with the how vacuum bag, it probably lasts a year and a half. Jason, how much do you buy at a time? I don't really buy too much in bulk. You know, I'll buy a half a pig at a time, but my parents will buy a half of a half of a cow and then, you know, a half a pig. Is that because they're used to that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. You, know, you, know, you don't have to, to do when, that. when you go to the grocery store, you don't buy yeah. meat. You got it in the freezer. Rob, what were you saying? Yeah, we have those We have those farms here. You get fat, uh, fra uh, <laughs> uh grass range free whatever it is beef and pork and you can buy a, a, a half or a quarter and uh you know if you have a freezer they chop up the rest and give you you know hamburger and um you know you buy it they have there's a lot of farms up in about 20 miles away from here just remember with a cow there's a difference between a quarter and a half of a half wow. i'm not buying it because it's just two of us if you split it with people it'd be okay a half of a half would be good for beef for a year. Put it in the freezer, you have beef for a year. Yeah, what about up, we have this tough. whole cow freezer. What about if you get a, you know, if you just happen to, you buy all this beef and, and you find out that it's tough and not great and you're stuck with a year's worth of crappy beef. <laughs> yeah, that's like, like when you bought, bought a pound of pot. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and it was lousy pot, and now you were stuck with it. Yeah, or you and, sell it. Well, you know, you didn't want to sell it because then you get arrested for selling. You know, get your ass or kicked up for selling, selling crappy. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, what I decided I would do here is I would tr do a bandwidth test because uh, the bandwidth's terrible tonight. And I want to yeah. see if it's me or if it's you know who. Uh, <laughs> Well, it looks like it could be me, but no, no. Here I'm going up to I'm up to I'm up to uh, two sixty to, to three. Uh, I'm gonna hit. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna there's hit. a difference between bandwidth and latency, right? Yeah, but I have for, latency for, is what kills you. Really? Bandwidth won't necessarily kill you. It's latency. Yeah. If if there's something going on, if you've got something going on, and there's a lot of retransmits because of latency, everything's gonna look like shit. But yet you could have a really fast connection. Really. And depending yeah. on if you have FEC errors, forward error corrections also can screw up your shit. Your bandwidth could look like it's fine. When you do a test, you should have a bits loading graph. It should be pretty much flat, have you know a little bit of ups and downs, but if it's a shitload of spikes, yeah. then that's not a good bits loading graph. Yeah, well, my, mine is like, right. getting just, a lot of Mine's kind of like this. I just then that's the not test. good. You're probably taking a lot of forward error corrections. Oh, well, you know, I, I just I, uh, who test. knows what that is. Uh, you do. <laughs> you do. Huh? What, what, is the ping the latency? Well, my ping was 26. My download's 121, and my upload's 12. So where, where your, where's the server you're pinging? Um, I don't know. It's... Xfinity uh, speed. Further, the further the, the, the server is away from you, the worse the latency will be. The you know, There's latency every time you hit a hop. You're yeah. going to get latency. Every, every router you hit along the Internet is going to bring latency. Yeah. So well, you, better latency than never. That's true. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see. Huh? So last night we had a full house last night. Mm -hmm. Hey, no spoiler alerts. I haven't listened to that show yet. I haven't listened to the show yet. Yeah, spoiler alert. Spoiler. Play Monday. Yeah. For a while there, it was just saying this wasn't doing perfect streaming either. You know, I give up. You know, well, I do this, you know, I do this TV thing once every week. 
and it's mm -hmm. like a real hat trick to pull off because I'm it's like I'm doing two things at the same time. Um, but I uh, to, now it says perfect streaming, so I guess everything is just fine. You know. Can you rub your belly and pat your head at the well, same no, time? Well, no, I mean it really is because I've got I've got a, a you know I've, I can do switching here, which I should do more often I would imagine. Uh, because then that would really look good, and then I can bring up just the screen, and then I can bring up me in the screen, and then I oh, this is the one I like. This is the this is the sexy one where I can pretend if I look away from you guys, it actually looks like I'm looking at you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were taking the Cialis for your streaming problem. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it works. It, it works uh, to a, a certain extent. Um, <laughs> The only thing is the latency gets hard. So yeah. uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a problem. Anyway, oh, I got a haircut today. Look at this, folks. Look oh, at you this. Look great. You're oh. still bald. No, I'm balder. <laughs> because I go to this place. I go to, uh, I go to you, know, you remember the movie? Here, here's my comb over. I, I go to a Harlem. <laughs> yes, right. I go to a Harlem barber shop, right? And uh, it's twelve dollars for the haircut. <laughs> what are you laughing about? How much you pay for a haircut, Jason? Ten bucks. Oh, oh, so you're laughing because it's too much. Yeah, especially for being bald. Well, it's it it's New York. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy a pair of clippers for ten bucks. A floby. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. you remember the floby? Boy, was that a your vacuum? Was that a great idea? Yeah. Uh, I mean, back. Yeah. Dyson should come out with a Floby. Uh, it's got better suction. Yeah. Did anybody ever try a Floby? Anybody ever see somebody try a Floby? No. Yeah. This was a this was a hair cutting device that you hooked up to your vacuum cleaner. Right. Have you ever seen that video? What the guy who does? It's like a single father doing the perfect. Uh, uh, Ponytail. He takes a vacuum and sucks a girl's hair all up into a vacuum and just slides a scrunchie down under a oh, ponytail. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's probably got 10 million uh, followers on YouTube. I made him a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, I, I wonder how I can get how I could get 10 million viewers on YouTube. You could you could do like George Nor Nori does on that AM uh, whatever it is you know with all the UFOs and everything. You know I always hated that show. Yeah, well, yeah. I always hated it because these are a bunch of people who are full of shit, and he never calls them on it. You know, no, he endorses it. He he he's with them. Yeah. You know, the can't dark. you buy viewers for YouTube? You do it for uh, Twitter. Why not uh, YouTube? Yeah, I have. You know, I have. 50,000 Twitter followers and I you know I paid every penny for them uh, <laughs> you know but uh, boy the bandwidth See, you haven't paid me a penny that's why I don't follow you the on bandwidth Twitter. tonight sucks but I'll bet you money okay that by the time 1130 gets here it all clears up that happens every week if there's yeah, a problem that, that it sounds up. like there's an issue because people in your building uh, this is prime time for people to be on the internet, and then at eleven thirty they go to bed, mm -hmm. and you get better. Well, you know, I think everybody in his building is hacked into his account. And so part that, of it too well, is cable his bandwidth. You no. have cable modem, right? You don't have you don't have FiOS, so you're sharing bandwidth with everybody in the building. Well, we are it's getting FiOS in this building, and I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of taking FiOS. Upping the bios. Just It'll make be... sure it's real fiber bios and not yeah. just. No, hey. no. The, I, I've seen the box right outside the right outside my apartment. It's they're going to run fiber right through it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then uh, then it's cable coming into the apartment. You know, then then it's cable well, yeah, to disseminate it's, yeah, it's around. Yeah. Cat five. Huh? Actually, I have cat five coming in the house. I don't have yeah. cable coming in the house. It's right. Be cat five it's, coming, in, not coax. Well, and it's DSL. That shares uh, no, 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 so cable modem. Really? So it's, yep. No, DSL doesn't share with anybody. With DSL and UVerse, you have your own independent pair going back to the, uh, you know, to the hut. Yeah. yeah, but if you have five computers in your house, yeah, well, all that's all the same with that's the same with cable. Yeah, same with cable. Yeah, with FIOS, cable it one and you're sharing with all your neighbors. Yeah, well, I'm thinking of going to, to FIOS when, when they finally offer it here, which should be in the next couple of months. 
uh, it, it, the bandwidth will be less. It'll go from 300 to 150, but the up will go from 20 to 150. That's it's even on both sides. It's even on both sides. So I'm I'm hoping that that will be the answer. I got this new modem, and today it somehow got a glitch and uh, it couldn't. It, I had to reboot it. So you know, I don't. I don't trust any of this. I'm just just to let you know that brand you said I'd never heard of it before. What UB? Yeah. But UB. You, I, oh, it's been around for a long time. I, I they had a UB. I had a UB in my apartment downtown. Uh, did I you think buy it's, a modem? Huh? Did you buy the modem or no, did they? No, they, I'm I'm renting it. Uh, it. That's short for you be a sucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know something yeah. though? I, I'll tell you. I don't think you can buy anything today. Okay. When I go to Amazon, I want to buy something. Let's say a, it's a hard drive. All right. And I uh, I go to say, okay, this looks like a good hard drive, a Seagate uh, five mega uh, get five uh, uh, terabyte, right? Blah 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 blah. And then I look down at the uh, uh, percentage of people who like it. I know. And it's never a hundred percent. It's never ninety percent. It's never sixty percent. It's always like thirty-eight percent like it. Yeah. And there's nothing. And you go, I can't buy a hard drive. They they all suck. Yeah. You know what, Jared, you, you, you got to read them because a lot of people don't like them for really stupid reasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't even own them sometimes, and they uh, and they write a review. Really, I wrote a bad review about a product once, and I got a call from the manufacturer. I had returned it, and I got a call from uh, on Amazon, and I got a call from the manufacturer who said, "We really don't like the fact that you got, you gave us a bad review. We're going to send you another one free." And we want you to use it. We're not going to charge you for it, but please reevaluate after you use it. You got a bad one for some reason. You know what it was? It was a, a watch that had an MP3 uh, camera. Mm -hmm. It had a, a high def camera, and I wanted to use it at work. And I bought it, and I had nothing but trouble with it. And the guy said, These cameras work great. I don't, you have a problem. They called me, they sent me a brand new watch. And they said, no charge. We appreciate your honesty, but we would love you to, you know, change your review after you use it. And it was very nice. That's Did you customer. change your review after they? You, yeah, I, the the new one was was much different from the experience I had with the original one. Well, you know, a, a lot of times things get bad reviews because the company that competes with them pays people to well, write bad true, reviews. Too. Negative So you really can't judge by that. It's a universe of so many people, and there are so many, you know, everybody has an opinion, and there's nothing you can do besides read between the lines, really, when it comes to reviews. With, like, Yelp, people will go and they'll complain on Yelp before they even talk to the company or try to get anything resolved. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing because yeah. Yelp is anonymous, and they... Uh, uh, and they want to eliminate this uh, anonymous uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 complaint type of Bill, thing. Bill, look at yeah. your monitor. Yeah. What do you see? I see you, Rob, and Robert uh -huh. uh, on top, and then me on the bottom. And do you see Jason? No. You I don't, don't see Jason either. Really? Oh, nope. I oh. see Jason. <laughs> he has his hand up. He wants to talk. Oh, no, I, have, I, don't I don't see Jason. Either. Huh? I was going to say, when you were talking about with the modems, I just, uh, my personal experience, I don't know how they are with cable modems, but Netgear, I think, makes a really good modem. Uh, the modems that I use at work, Netgear is the one that is my preferred modem. Yeah, well, uh, I'm using UB. Uh, I'm <laughs> uh, saying if you were to go out and invest by your own, because I know uh, cable modems sometimes, uh, at least uh, Comcast, they divide their modem in two. Part of their modem is public access to any Comcast customer, and the other part of it is for you. So you sit there and you pay for your, you know, your bandwidth, but half your bandwidth is given away for free to any other Comcast customer. Yeah. I'm, I'm using a uh, Comcast, well, it's my own modem. It's called a Motorola Surfboard Doxus 3, and it's supposed to be, for cable, the fastest modem you can get and i bought it it was like 95 bucks i bought it on ebay and uh it was new i, I don't but uh and it's and it's worked perfectly uh i've had it four years now uh 
it was great. I don't know how they are anymore because we don't use them that much, but yeah. But uh, the Comcast says that they're this Doxus three service is the fastest that they have. Hmm. Well, I I uh, I think I had a Motorola once, uh, and it worked fine. It was good, you know. But um, uh, the, the thing was, they put in this UB, and I was I've been very happy with it until today, and all of a sudden it went it went wonky on me. The other you know. thing was, uh, I used to rent a modem from Comcast, and I had it for, I think, five years, and I was paying five bucks a month. You know, I figured out I paid like $300 in rent uh, for a modem that I could buy for 95 bucks. And, uh, and, and by the time it was five years old, it wasn't that great a modem. Well, they, yeah, they that's every five years you should replace. Yeah, they come out with new ones all the time. Yeah, and at ninety five bucks, I mean, compared to the well, how much money? How much do you think they charge me for this thing a month? Five bucks, oh. eight bucks? Yeah, at least five bucks. That's what I used to get charged. So you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's costing me uh, over a hundred bucks a a, mu a year to have this. I know that the uh, uh, the boxes, you know, the cable boxes, those goddamn things are they're charging six, seven bucks a month for those things. Yeah, and, and what's worse about them? That isn't the only thing that's costing you money. They use up, each cable box uses about $8 a month in electricity. No yep. shit. Well, do you ever feel how hot those things are? It's yeah, true. Not. You know, I'll bet this UB is not cost using as much electricity as that other modem I had, because the other modem got red hot. This thing is uh, cool as a cucumber. Of course, it went out on me today, but, you know, Jason. Let's see, that's what I was going to say. I think the future of all, uh, I think some of the cable providers are fighting it, but I think AT&T was for it. But the future of TV, you know, even the inter, uh, cable service is basically just going to be streams. You know, oh, yeah. Just like Netflix. And you're going to pay for so many streams, and you're, you know, eventually all TVs are going to be smart well, TVs. Well, if you, you need a cable box, you'll have a cable box. But you have here. otherwise it could be... You have here on the citizen panel a cord cutter in yeah, in Phil Meyer, and um, it, the, you know the cable companies. Uh, I I had somebody who was having some, you know, was going to install cable, but then they didn't know what they wanted. They talked to the cable company. They talked them into taking uh, a basic little service that's about thirty bucks a month that you can use a Roku with. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they said, and uh, we'll give you the Roku. This is Time Warner. So, th 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 yeah, yeah. so they're coming out with their own cord cutting deals. But uh, I started to do the math on it, okay? What do you want when you, first yeah. of all, you got to buy the Roku. That's, uh, that's going to cost you for a decent one. Uh, for a 4K, for the 4K, it'll be about 120 bucks, okay? Okay. Because you want that since well, you're going to probably have 4K. Uh, most people are going to get the next set they get is going to be 4K because it's the same price as the old ones were. Um, then you start having these monthly charges for these various things. Well, to begin with, your cable company will give you a basic service, and they're, uh, they have a channel uh, on Roku, for instance, uh, where I can watch any Time Warner channel going, okay? So, but um, if you want to, but you can't record. See, that, that's, you don't get a DVR with that, so you can't record, so you better be there ready to watch uh, uh, your favorite show when your favorite show goes on. Can't so you that, buy a DVR? Huh? You can buy a DVR. No, you can't. Oh, Very, yeah. Not, you not, see, not, no, no, no. streaming, not, Bill. He, oh. not, yeah, you can, you can buy a DVR if you've got cable. Oh. But if you're simply using uh, uh, Roku, you can't record. I recommend TiVo. Because yeah. I can stream with it, and I could watch cable on it. Mm -hmm. Some like I could just say what movie do I want to watch. You still have and to pay it. for the cable, right? And, and pay it for the cable, oh, correct? Yeah, TiVo's a DVR, right? TiVo is a DVR, right? And it also offers all the streaming services. Huh. Well, well, I think that's one thing that DirecTV is going to be doing is you can buy their stream, but you can watch anything that's already played. Well, I tell you, I'm very happy now with the Roku because, first of all, I'm not beholding to the man. Second of all, uh, I didn't have to sign a contract, and uh, and then if I moved, break it. 
Uh, and third of all, uh, you know, I don't have to deal with their box and so forth. So with the Roku, I got the string, uh, sling, sling TV. It's 20 bucks and uh, no contract. And what it does is it gives me uh, a ABC, uh, all the, most of the cable channels, TNT, TBS, TBS, uh, T TBS uh, A&E. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. There's 20, 25 uh, things. Then uh, I subscribe to CBS On Demand. So I got 20 bucks with the sling. I got five or six bucks with the CBS. And then by the way, I, that, that has commercials, right? Yeah. That's why uh, I wouldn't get it. It's because it's got commercials. Yeah. It's just it's regular. It's a regular CBS. No, it's and, not regular CBS. It's the streaming service of CBS. And if they're going to charge you a certain amount of money every month, it should be commercial free. Well, mm -hmm. no, it's the regular CBS plus a CBS N, which is a streaming. I get CBS N for free. Right. Well, that comes with the CBS. And well, got, well, that's who, but you can get that without subscribing to the CBS. Oh, well, uh, I have the CBS. I don't know. There's some show she, uh, they wants. Hey, have I, they came out with Star Trek yet? I don't know. But I you know something? You can't record on it. I don't record. You can't record a show off of there. Like Faye, never, Faye has a favorite show. She wants to watch it later. You can't record it. No, but you, yeah, you can. Uh, you can go down and you can pick it out of the lineup. Uh, you mean you can watch on demand? Yeah. C CBS yeah. on demand? No. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you could do that, that's okay. Okay, but then if you want HBO, that's how much. It's, uh, but it's I'll tell you what. I, I, you, you can watch CBS on demand, but I'll guarantee you, you can't fast forward through the commercials and stuff because they do, that with, they do that with Verizon Fios. They have all yeah. of the different shows that are, you know, you can watch anything that's been on any of the networks. Yeah. And it's a pain in the ass you because can you, have to speed, you can speed through the show, but you can't speed through the commercials. You can't yeah. even speed through the show. And, yeah. and uh, look at that fast forward uh, optimal it tells you it's right. yeah. They tell you it's disabled. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those are things that I just don't do. Uh, I don't speed through the commercials. I don't speed through the show. Well, I for instance I have Hulu. Usually I, one I, commercial I, break and that's it. I pay eleven ninety nine a month for Hulu, but the Hulu service I have is the one where they don't have any commercials for the show. I have Hulu also. Do you have it without commercials? No. Why not? Uh, I don't mind them. Uh, they don't bother me. You, you can't zip them. through them. It's I, I just prefer to watch a show without feed. commercials. You know, that's I why I was downloading them. them off the internet because I didn't have to watch them with commercials. Well, when can you pee? If there's no commercials, I, there's a pause <laughs> button if you need to pee. <laughs> Yeah, well, pause, pee, you know, I, I use the commercials. But, you know, so, if you've got Netflix, you've got Hulu, you've got Netflix. CBS, you've got, uh, let's say, Amazon, uh, let's I, say, you know, all the things that you need to uh, have a good television universe, you're going right. to wind up paying a lot of money every month. So and you got to oh you've got to pay you've got to pay for the internet service too and you got to at least have 50 megabytes and that's going to cost you about 70 bucks a month. I'm paying 60 for the Comcast. I'm paying uh, about 45 or 50. Is that for, for the internet service is 60? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because I have my own box and so mm -hmm. forth. And then uh, and I'm paying I don't know 45 50 dollars for all the TV I've gotten. The okay. only thing I don't have mm -hmm. is Fox. And if I had uh, uh, the, the Comcast TV, then I could sign in to Fox. But since I don't have that... Well, you see, I, what, what they, you see, that's what they do. I think with, with Time Warner, if you take their cord cuttings thing, yeah. you're officially part of the Time Warner universe, and you can sign on to all those things. Right. Or the so, ones that Time Warner approves. Like, to this day, they won't approve ABC TV. I don't know why. Well, because ABC well, doesn't want them to. It no, must be no. In contract. They, they, no, they'd ABC like them to. They, is on Sling. What? ABC is on Sling. Yeah. So I get ABC uh, through that. A couple of years ago, I cut the cord. I had a direct TV. I loved it, but it was just getting so freaking expensive. So I got really? fed up. And I cut the cord, and I went, that's what made me go out and buy the TiVo. And I didn't want to pay monthly crap anymore, so I bought the TiVo with the lifetime. Uh, you know, that's because that's a there's a service charge every month for TiVo if you don't buy it. 
and I paid five and change for lifetime on my TiVo. Okay, I, I put an antenna on the roof. I put a high depth. Is that for the, well, By the way, is it because I checked into that once? It's only for the life of your TiVo. If you get another TiVo, that's right. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't carry over. That's correct. That is correct. But I've already. I, I've had this TiVo now for for going on four years, mm -hmm. and it no signs of, uh, you know. How so much does TiVo want to my money out of the TiVo? How much does TiVo sure. want to charge per month? It's f uh, I want to say it's 14.95 or 12.95 well, for you the gotta, service. You got, you, they give you yeah. the guide and they give you you know all that stuff. You got to remember something else. In my particular case, I've got uh, let's see here one, two, three, four, five, six uh, six television sets. Yeah, you yeah. And so yeah. each one's got to have a Roku on it. Yeah. You know, if I'm cord cutting. Yeah. Well, well, I cut the cord. I was very happy until, and I know, Phil, you're a uh, you're a baseball fan, right? You're a fan of the Oakland, right? A's. You're an Oakland A's fan? I go to a couple of games, but I don't watch any games on TV. Oh, okay. Well, what happens if they go to the playoffs? Do you deal. care? You don't, no. oh, so you don't care. Okay. Well, I got to the point where I'm a big baseball fan. And I have the MLB package. I watch it on my, I, you know, any number of devices I can watch it on. I pay for that every year. I was really, really happy until the Yankees went to the playoffs that year. And I thought, well, great, I'll use the MLB TV. Well, no, you can't. Once the playoffs come, you can't use it anymore. Now I was faced with the first round of the playoffs. And this was in 2009, by the way. I couldn't watch. The Yankees won the World Series that year. I couldn't watch the first round of the playoffs because they were on TBS. Oh, oh. Like, yes. They're like, fuck, are uh, you kidding me? I actually called the cable company that next day and had them uh, give me, uh, I you know, had them turn on Fios. I already had the Fios modem. I had them yeah. turn on Fios so I could watch the games. And then well, I never went if back. I want to watch a game, I'll walk outside uh, half a block away is a sports bar. Uh, I'll walk yeah. there. Have a have a burger and 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 a, and a, and, a, and, a and beer. you can't hear it and everybody's talking and I really watch the game so. <laughs> well, you yeah. know, uh, uh, getting away for a second from from that in particular, the reason I'm thinking of going to FiOS is right now I have a plan here called Time Warner Signature, and it costs me three hundred and thirty six dollars a month. Oh, you get ripped that's off, with dude. well the three hundred gig. It, with, with, that's with the three hundred gig. I didn't pay for that they just in fact when i first got it it was 100 and they kept boosting it up all the time yeah. uh if i go to fios and i get 150 megabytes per second which is all i'm going to need okay that's right. more bandwidth than i need here you won't even notice the difference i won't even notice the difference you know i'm uh, it, but uh, what what will happen is uh, that's only like 169 bucks a month in and of itself but then if you add all the other stuff and so on, it's not going to come anywhere near $330, uh, $340 a month. $4,000 a year for for. Yes, TV? I am. Yes, I am. Wow. $4,000 a year. I hope that's a business expense. You, yeah. you know what uh, uh, David it, Hayjack would say? You can buy a car for that. Yeah, well, you know, I, uh, uh, I'm i thinking that if I go with, uh, if I go with Fios, uh, I don't know how much they charge per box per month. You know, do you know, uh, Rob? Rob? Say it's done. Just about, yeah, it's about seven bucks a month. Per box. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. and then I, you know, I get the HBO and I get the Showtime and How's I get. How many boxes the, do you have? I have, um, well, I can live with five boxes here. So you're already you're talking 35, 40 bucks a month in just boxes. Yeah, but still, it's going to come out cheaper than I'm paying and, now. And with FiOS, you have to pay tax. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's all those taxes that the phone company. Well, I'll have them work it out. If it doesn't come to 340 if it comes out to less than $340 <laughs> a month, I'm their sucker. Okay. But are there certain TVs that you only watch certain stuff on the Roku? You uh, don't maybe well, need a box on Well, we TV? actually, one of the sets we I don't even have the cable plugged into because we never use it. It's the one in the dining room. Uh, but the rest of them we do use. Yes. We use every one of them. See, I don't get it. You know, there's only two of you, and you have that many TVs. Well, in I'm, my house, it, we have a TV yeah, in the living room. When I'm, when I'm ready to lie down and watch some TV after the shows are over and stuff, I go into the guest room. 
Okay, so there's a TV set in there. When we're eating lunch, there's a TV set in the kitchen. There's one in the living room, of course. And then I've got one here, which I can use if there's like an election or whatever, and I need to follow it some night, you know. You know how I get we, around that? Uh, I bought a sling, a sling box. And I stream TV around my house, outside, in my garage, wherever I want. I bring my laptop, I bring my iPad, mm -hmm. and I, I, instead of having cable box, I don't have a cable, well, I do now because we put a love seat in my bedroom and, and, and yeah. my old 52-inch TV in there because, but I can't see it from my bed. So if I want to watch TV in bed, I just have my laptop yeah, and I watch my TiVo yeah. because I have a sling box on there. Well, See, I, I don't get it. Why do you watch TV? I, I don't understand why people watch TV in bed. When you're just an adult because... and it's your house, why wouldn't you just watch TV in your living room and then when you're ready to go to bed, you go to bed? Because we're old people. Yeah, sometimes you just, you know what? I had enough. I want to go lay down, relax, put on an hour worth of TV, and then go to sleep. Now, See, I guess I would just what? lay down on the couch. <laughs> it's not the same. In bedroom is for the two S's, sleeping and sex. Uh. In, in my bedroom, I took my old Apple TV uh, box and I stuck it in there. And whatever I want to watch in the bedroom, if I want to watch something that wasn't on the Apple and I had to watch it on the Roku, I go in the living room. Uh, I, if, yeah. you know, if I just want to watch the news or something, uh, you know, I, I have the Apple TV. And there might be a few things I get on that that I don't get on the Roku. No. Anyway, is anybody else going to call tonight, by the way, or is this going to be the, the, the smallest group we've had on a Friday night TV thing? You're up against it, you know. What so do you mean? It's tonight. The Warrior Cavalier game. Wasn't it on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. When's Lord their last Lord. game? No, no, this is game four. Well, how many four. games are there? Seven. seven. Up to seven, but. Yeah. Up to seven. Oh, yeah. God, I'm sick of this. Yeah. Where's Renee? Yeah, well, where's Renee? Yeah, where's, 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 Maybe she's where's, watching the Sharks game. Where's Scott? Is he out uh, going after the high life in the Iowa? <laughs> He's, He's out, out, out in watching Iowa. the corn spin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's laying on that bed listening to us right now. He was, that's what he was doing last night. I'll tell you what I did. I, I cut story. some kind of a cord the other day. I was having a few little problems with some uh, some of the stuff on my on – my, I, I have one, uh, um, what do you call it, hard drive. Uh, a network hard drive uh, devoted to entirely to porn. And uh, I had about four, um, what, four, four terabytes of porn. And wow. I decided, fuck it, I erased it all. Oh. Got rid of all of it. I said, uh, I'm starting all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you need to save porn? Have you ever heard of xvideos.com? Well, no, because it, 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 you have to watch what they want you to watch. Uh, you Usually know, it's pretty good. It's all the same stuff. Well, it, well, well, here's what I here's one of the things I decided, and it's probably because I'm 76 years old and maybe losing a little bit of my sex drive. <clears throat> I decided that I've seen how many porn films in my lifetime. And they're all exactly the same for the most part. Yeah, pretty much. You know, it's like a bullfight. The matador comes out. The bull comes charging. <laughs> you know, and uh, and after it's all over, there's some blood on the ground. Yeah, you that's know? the thing. Do you want an old bull, young bull, fat bull, skinny bull? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian bull. <laughs> uh, 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 transsexual bull. <laughs> Two bulls. The, you know, a milf bull. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so I'm starting all over again. Funny. You know. Old and, bull and a young bull? Yeah. But I, <laughs> I, I you know, I, I've, uh, it, it's just, it's ridiculous. And people prize their, the guy, some guys prize their porn collection. And I just figured, fuck it, I'm tired of this. And I just erased it. I said I, I could fix it, whatever was wrong with it, which was uh, that I added some thumbnails. To stuff, and I just the hell with it. I'm just going to race it all. Mm. And I got rid of it, you know. So I've cut, I've cut the cord on my porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and go cold jerky. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Hey, I uh, talking about technology. I got my new vehicle this week, right? A 2017 Escape. And uh, it has the new. Uh, what's that? 
you get four wheel drive this time? No, it's not four wheel drive. I had the option, but I didn't go for it because I, I don't expect to use it. But they they have a tool. I mean, and I really haven't driven it much because I've been so busy. And I think I got 30 miles on it, but I have to get comfortable with it. They have Apple Play in the car. Hmm. It is as soon as I got in the car and I plugged my phone into charge, mm -hmm. it automatically sets up a screen with all your icons right there on the screen and Siri you can talk to from the button on your steering wheel. So if my wife texts me, I can I can I can see the text message. It'll even read it to me if I want. Mm -hmm. The car will read the text message. But I can read it there on the screen, on the big screen in the center, and then just press a button and say uh, say whatever, and it'll it'll send the message for me back. It has a lot of really cool features. The uh, Apple Play with the um, Ford Sync system, and and uh, it's really cool. Now, do you have special apps that you can put on there, or do you, is this just the apps that it comes? Not with? every app, but there is maybe twenty or so apps, and it's growing. Yeah. So like Pandora, um, I can I have listened to Gabnet. Um, I got a you know a tune in icon, mm -hmm. There's, you know, and it, you just press the button. It's t touch screen. You just it's like you're using your iPhone in the center. You can oh. even instruct Siri to, to launch the program. Yeah, and I'm sure you can get Sirius XM. That that's your next audience. Alex. There is. They gave us six months of Sirius XM on the car. On the car. Yeah. 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 And they count that as one of their subscribers. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I had a friend that bought a uh, a Volks, uh, one of the high end Volkswagens, and they gave him like three three years of Sirius. Uh, well, yes. I mean, basically, the car companies are paying for Sirius XM at well, a much deflated for. price. So when they say they've got twenty nine million uh, listeners, that means they have twenty nine million cars. Okay. Ooh. And and I, I think there's a big lie there that they're not telling their investors or the public, you know. Um, and there's a great churn rate, too. And if you call them up, you want to quit Sirius XM? $25 for four months, five months. Five months, Correct. yeah. Hardly what they normally charge for, you know, the service. Mm -hmm. I've never paid the thing, but I, I stopped, uh, even if they offered it me, to me, for ten dollars for five months, I I don't I don't think I'd do it. Yeah, he's I, a, a I'm shake. in the car too much to rely on local radio down well, in just, Chesapeake, I, Virginia, I, up in you know you never know what you're going to find. I plug my yeah. Uh, but when iPhone that six in. months is over, you tell them you're not going to re up and just watch oh. the price they give you. Oh, I know absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's the same thing. I, I put my iPod because, you know, I'm in my truck a lot at work. <clears throat> I just plug my iPod in my radio, and I'm just listening to the podcast all day. Yeah, I listen to Pandora, you know. Uh, I if listen I want to music in the car very often. Very yeah. rare do I listen to music in the car, unless my wife's in now, the car. What you say you can get, you can get Gabnet. Uh, in the yeah, car. I listen I, to Gabnet yeah. on the podcast, and I can also live stream it uh, to, to my phone. And listen to it in the car. Can you the car. can you uh, can you get the podcast individually? Oh look, two people calling at the same time. Some some game must just be over. Yeah, and that's why I wish that you would put a stream up on uh, that's all your shows in a row, so I could just hit play. And once the one show is over, the next one. You can if you download them from iTunes. I do download them from iTunes, and then as soon as Alex say, like right now, I have three of Alex's shows, mm -hmm. and then I have three of the intersections. Well, what, okay, I, yeah. I must so, have sixty available to me if I wanted them. So I'm saying because I've, th those are the ones I haven't listened well, to. Well, I, I only as soon as one of Alex's shows over, the next out, you know. Also, uh, iTunes, I limit the amount of shows. It doesn't go back to like five years ago. It, saying, it, it like or three years ago, it goes back about ten shows. Is that because they charge you, Alex? No, it's because uh, it becomes a bit unwieldy for me on my server. For instance, with GoDaddy, uh, I I don't think they would they you know I have all the space I want. Okay, with GoDaddy, but I don't think they'd be that happy if I was filling it up with uh, you know terabytes and terabytes of, of audio. Okay. Um, hello, Renee. Hi. And who is on the who is on the phone here? Somebody who you haven't heard from in quite a while. It's Steve. Oh, hi, original Steve. Yeah, the yeah, original, original Steve. Steve. Well, yeah, and I don't know if I'm a. Oh, 
anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, You're the other Steve. Yeah. Okay. The original Steve? The original Steve, yeah. <laughs> No, there is one from New York, I think, who was yes. actually original. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I came after. I thought so. you might be original, Steve, because he was writing me about how terrible it was that uh, Hillary had this very expensive dress and was talking about how she cared about the poor, you know. Uh, it's an outfit. Get it straight. Okay, it's an outfit. What color yeah. was it? Mauve? Um, it was strangely... Um, who's the guy from North Korea? Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. Yeah, it was. If you took the color away, it kind of looked like that. You know, a big stripe down the center to make her look tall, and and these kind of unwieldy sleeves with a a nice neckline. So uh, every time I see the outfit, I just think of something from North Korea. Well, somebody once said to me uh, a piece of advice which I've taken to heart over the years. And it's a good piece of advice everybody should take. You can do a lot of things in life, but you can't shine shit. And- uh, Is that what happened to Sarah Palin? Uh, 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 no, uh, Sarah Palin, you, you know, she could still, she, uh, for whatever we want to say about Sarah Palin, uh, back in those days, she was not a bad looking babe. Oh, okay, yeah. you didn't have to do much shining up with her, but Hillary takes a lot of buffing, <laughs> you know? She's also like what, twenty to thirty-five years older than Sarah Palin is. Well, so oh, she's old as hell, man, isn't she in her seventies? Well, let me ask you this question. Sure. Uh, uh, um, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Elizabeth Warren. Do you think that's a good idea? Yep. Uh, okay, so let's start out with the the, the above shot. Let's start out from the top. Okay. In a, in a dream world, I would love to see a Clinton Warren ticket. Absolutely. Why? I would love for Why? Them to come Why? In and stomp Why? To begin with, to begin president. with, Elizabeth Warren is totally incapable of being president of the United States. Most okay. politicians in the country have said that she's a very good senator. She's good being in the Senate. She's on our side in the Senate. Do you want to leave that vacancy open for somebody who's not prepared to be president of the United States? No, you know what? That's How just a nice way of brushing off the How old is Elizabeth Warren? I have no idea. But all, all I know is also having, t can I just say this, uh, having two women on the ticket, and at the risk of sounding like Donald Trump, having two women on the ticket, um, thank God they're both, uh, they've all gone, both gone through menopause because if they still were getting their periods and they synchronized, five days a month would be hell for this country. Fuck you. We go through it every goddamn <laughs> week for thir or every goddamn month for 30 years. You know why you get uh, you, you menstruate? Yeah, because you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, then you deserve us being on our period. Yeah, well, we, we've had, believe me, we've had to deal with it over the years. But all I'm saying is I think it's a, a well, that's let me let me ask Jason. Jason's got his hand up. I was saying, she's is she in charge of the DNC right now? No, that's uh, yeah. what's her name? Uh, that uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Schultz. Okay, so all right, never mind. Then that that's one I was going to say shouldn't be in office anymore. Yeah, she's so. I never liked her, and I always complained about her. And I just I think she's just terrible. She's horrible. You would have had Hillary for a uh, uh, nominee if it wasn't for Schultz. Well, yeah, I don't, okay, let's let's start with this. So let's go back to the main. Oh, question. by the way, by the way, look at your clock. It's it almost jack? it's almost eleven thirty, and every picture here is clear. Yeah. yeah. Except for Jason, mine. Jason's a little. Yeah, yours is very clear, Steve. I can't see Jason. <laughs> that's that's, that's Steve line. up there, folks. I'm circling around up there for the TV people to see. Elizabeth yeah. Warren is 66 years of age, and do I think two yeah. women can beat the snot out of Donald Trump? I would love to see it, but I don't think that America is ready for it. So it has to I, be. I don't think it's a question of being ready for it. I just You're don't. Not fucking I, ready I, for I, it. I just I think what she needs as a running mate. Is somebody a bit, uh, quite a bit younger, uh, and and probably if and if that's a female, so be it. But uh, I just think this idea that uh, you're going to run two females for the sake of saying you're running two females is not a good idea. No, it's not a winning idea. I don't think she's going to run her, and I think well, she's just using her as her bulldog to attack Trump, so she can remain Hillary can remain presidential until uh, so. until after the until after the. 
agree with the Phil. nominees. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Might be a, a pretty decent thing for what Phil said. I agree with that. So, who is the perfect candidate, uh, vice presidential candidate for her? It's got. I think it's got to be somebody considerably younger. Joe Biden would be a. Well, look, Joe Biden should have been running for president. I'd be behind him a hundred percent. What? <laughs> You asked. I told you. <laughs> yeah, but 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 he he. I, I don't. He can't. I don't think. Well, wait a minute. Can he be vice president more sure. than one term? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's the president you can only run twice, but vice president you're just uh, hanging in the uh, in the shadows. Is it like uh, some people were saying? Why doesn't she get Bill to be vice president? And the answer is because Bill can't be vice president. Because if she were to die, he would become president, and that she can't do. See? Right. So, so it, 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 who Muhammad else Muhammad. is up there? Sorry, Phil. Go ahead. Uh, Bill Clinton uh, was at the uh, spoke at the Muhammad Ali funeral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, yeah, he did a good eulogy. Uh, I was, uh, I was impressed. I was a good speaker. He's just I was Yeah, I have to catch I'm tired. Up I'm, I've gotten very good. tired of Bill Clinton. Right, very geez. tired of Bill Clinton. Enough of so it. the question is: Is who who could be Hillary's running mate? Who's yeah. gonna make? Who's gonna round out this ticket and tr and stomp all over Trump? I don't think anybody likes Hillary enough to to want to run with her. <laughs> you don't think that anybody would be any male out there would be willing to be on the second half of the of a ticket that makes history? I'll Your do kid. it. Yeah, yeah, Your Rob. Kid. Well, enough of this history stuff. <laughs> you know. I don't think she's going to win. Ah! <laughs> what, you think Donald's going to be our next president? Uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think she's going to win. I'm still waiting for um, the third-party candidate to show up, because I, I still think if the Koch brothers have pulled out of funding Donald Trump for the presidency for the, on the Republican side, they've got somebody in mind. And they can't get enough funding for the RNC convention. Oh, yeah. Alex. What? Uh, Alex, I, I, I think I heard you say yesterday or the, the night before, um, I think you may be onto something. I've been thinking this over, and I think we may see like a, a, a 68 Republican convention. You know, where, what was his name? Uh, McCarthy, Ed, Ed McCarthy? Uh, they, he was like a shoe-in, and then at the last minute, it's Humphrey. And I think something like that. Well, is yeah, but I think I, I think in that case he didn't. Who did we lose? We lost somebody. We lost Jason. Really? No, no. Huh? He just sat back down. He just what? He just sat back down and got his. I can't drink. see him here. Oh, so I, you're like us now. You can't see Jason. You can't but see. Oh wow. Jason, there. Are you there, Jason? He's got a call back. Oh, he's got a call back. There he is. Okay. All right. Let's see if we see him now. Yeah, we wondered if you had abandoned us, Jason. But yeah, so we still can't see him. He, well, he's, he's he's coming in. He'll be in. Oh, well, I uh, unplugged my headphones and then I plugged them back in and then I couldn't hear anything. And then I unplugged them and I still couldn't hear anything. Plugged them back in, still couldn't hear anything. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Anyway, I think what happened with Hubert Humphrey uh, in that case, I don't think the guy had the nomination. McCarthy. It was McCarthy. Yeah, Eugene McCarthy. He didn't have the nomination. So it then became a matter of going to the uh, convention and having to, to fight it out, which I think is the way it should happen anyway, and forget about all these fucking primaries. You know? Yeah, I agree. I don't I, it's, it's, too, it's too long. It's just too long. It's, it's, we're, we're all fatigued I mean, already. You know? uh, the, the actual race for president is an anticlimax now. You know, the opening acts yeah, are and, too, and, and, too robust. The, 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 I'm sorry. I was going to say the average voter, uh, which the majority of people aren't, you know, that interested. I mean, they may have, you know, they may keep up with the news a little, but they're not political junkies. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk to any of any of those people who really are the majority of the voters and the majority of the popul population, mm -hmm. and they're, you know, they're saying, "My God, I don't, I don't even want to look at these people on TV anymore." Yeah, I've had it. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, but I'm saying that you know I really would like to see uh, conventions where it's fought out there. I see. I don't care uh, that it, I I don't think you should have to spend a billion dollars 
for, you, for both parties to come up with a nominee. I think you can do that very nicely among yourselves at your conventions, and then after the convention, you come out with your standard bearer, and he's the one that fights, or she is the one that fights the fight for you. For you. Could uh, you imagine what that'd yeah. be like on TV too? It'd be like a Super Bowl. Well, for no, a but week. it always—it was years ago. I remember <laughs> sitting there as a kid, watching the convention, and it was the night of the of the vote, and there were ten ballots before they came up with a winner. Uh, I mean, that was very common back in the day. You can't fix that, though. No, you can't fix that. You can't fix that. No, you you wrangle, you caucus is what you do. You you that's where the, one of the terms that caucus. Yeah. Jefferson Adams convention? Yes, it was the Jefferson Adams convention. There was only 10 ballots because that's all he could chisel out at a time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, nice, Jason. Yeah, but it, 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 it really, um, you know, it was, it was much more fun to watch. And, uh, you know, it, 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 if, if you're going to run a whole bunch of, of, of primaries, and you're going to have the party, uh, the people among themselves, spend something like five hundred million dollars to to win that nomination, only to have them go to the convention and have it wrested away from them. Then what did you spend all that money for? And more than that, what did the state of New York spend all that money on by paying for primaries? Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, the money is, it, it, it's, it's wasted money to say we're holding a process which doesn't necessarily say we're going to come out with the winner. It's a waste of time. Oh, yeah. It's an absolute waste of time. And, uh, you know, wh what is that you've got, Phil? The hell is that? I, I, it's my uh, new underwater enclosure for uh, one of my Oh, let's see. Sorry. It's, wow. it's TV night. Damn, that thing is huge. Oh, so they have this stuff on the back. And is this specifically for Canon? No, this is specifically for a Nikon uh, D700. Uh, it's, an, it's an older camera I got, but this enclosure, uh, I bought it. I found it on eBay. Uh, some guy in Italy was selling it, and it just came today. And uh, How much did that cost you? Uh, it was sixteen hundred bucks, but uh, new it's six thousand. Yeah. So, well, so, the, one of the reasons it costs so much is because you're putting a four thousand dollar camera in the damn thing, and it better work. It's one <laughs> piece of aluminum. Yeah, your retirement ain't gonna last long when well, you keep spending money. <laughs> well, no, this is you know for the retirement because this allows me to do my uh, uh, my book, uh, Dive Sites of Maui. Uh, by the time you get to around to it, there aren't going to be books. <laughs> <laughs> They're barely books now. Kindle. Yeah. What I what I want to do is dive each site enough to where I can make a map mm -hmm. uh, uh, with different depths, uh, where to go, what to see, uh, pictures of uh, uh, of each site. Uh, it's much more in depth. Than, and all these uh, white coral see. reefs that are dead. That's really going to be wonderful. Well, and when you see all your pictures, I don't need to dive them anymore. Yeah, there isn't a lot of coral in uh, in Maui you know, because it's such yeah. a new island. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot it's, of fish life. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is not uh, this is not the Caribbean where there's these big coral reefs. We've got we've got uh, volcanic a volcanic activity. Volca volcanic. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we've got parts of craters we've got you know uh all sorts of stuff because down there that that you don't get to see in the caribbean because we're not coral but we're not that coral based we're actually kind of a more land or lava based would probably be the way to say it yeah yeah and uh it's coral but it's not the kind of coral that uh it's, it's plate coral by the way let me just tell you right now i told you 11 30 every picture is like Perfect. Except I still don't see Jason. You know? I do. We, yeah. I, we, I do. Do you see him, Rob? No. I don't. No. You don't really? See him. He's wearing a terracotta shirt. What the hell's wrong with you people? Hmm. I don't see his box. No. Oh, oh, oh by the way, it's the new improved Skype. Hey, I'm a guy. I don't have a box. <laughs> it's, it's, the, <laughs> it's the new improved Skype. Uh, they said, when I came on tonight, it had a thing across his uh, top saying, uh, congratulations, you've been upgraded to the newer Skype. Uh, it's going to be better than it was before. Whoop-de-doo. And I just said, I'm going to have nothing but problems this evening. 
Hey, yeah. Trump's <laughs> wall is blocking the Mexican. By the way, did yours upgrade, Rob? Maybe that's the problem. Uh, no. What happened was I was on with you, and then I got I I had this problem with malware, and I I run this program on there to to get rid of the malware, and it rebooted my computer. But malware no, bytes. Yes, malware bytes. It's a great. Like program. It. But no, I haven't upgraded in a while. There may be an upgrade. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, there, there, no, there is. Are you, are, well, you're you're a Mac, right? Are you a Mac there? No, this is a PC. Yeah. Oh, well, then the PC has a new upgrade. Yeah. Uh, well, the Mac has an upgrade too. I just checked. It says yeah. there's a an upgrade. Uh, yeah. So you know, it, it's great because it'll uh, a whole bunch of new things to fuck up. It just said <laughs> I have the latest version, so it must have upgraded at some point. It probably it does it automatically, I think, on the uh, on the Mac and Microsoft uh, products. Yeah, wow. uh, and and by the way, the Microsoft Skype I, I use now. I use the PC as opposed to the Mac, which I had been using. And the reason that I'm doing that is because um, the um, uh, it looks be It's a better program. All the way like around. It looks stuff. better. It acts better. Uh, it, it, and when you go over to the PC one, they don't really give a shit. About, I mean, Mac, they don't give a shit about the Mac version. They just don't care. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, I, I, I really think they should. Well, now, with this thing, uh, it's not complete yet. I have to buy a dome port. Uh, dome ports is big glass... Uh, <laughs> fits on here mm -hmm. that allows you to use a wide angle lens uh, underwater. Hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's for a wide angle lens housing? Uh, well, this housing, you can buy a macro lens housing, uh, not housing, but uh, port, or right. you can buy a uh, dome port for a wide angle. Well, that's good, because last night I, I bought a bunch of uh, pods, K-cup pods for Sumatra coffee. Ooh. And it ran me 50 bucks, and I had to think about whether I wanted to buy it or not. So it's nice you could buy a $1,600 enclosure for a camera. It's a, it's a $6,000 enclosure. And no, no, no. It's a $1,600 enclosure because that's what it's sold for. Well, that's what it's sold for from a guy from Bologna, Italy. Uh, and, 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 and that's I, what you got, a lot it. of Bologna. Bologna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Renee has a hand. This, full of Bologna. Yes, feel, Renee. Feel free feel free to send me all your camera equipment so that I may test it out prior to you actually getting to the goddamn islands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be more than happy to take that housing down there for you. Do you have the light set up too? Yeah, uh, for my old my old setup. I have uh, two CNC YS90s. I, I, you're not going to have any in your luggage. You're not going to have room for clothing. Oh, no, so, I don't. It, it's all camera equipment. Right. So the, the issue is, is that you have the camera and then you have the big enclosure that the camera goes in. Not only that, but then you end up looking like a horned animal because you have this bar and it has big lights on it. Right. Because and it's, it's out, really you know, the stick is really wide. So you're diving down there with this thing that looks like a moose head. <laughs> trying it, to not like try something. Uh, like the Mars rover, you know. <laughs> and the uh, are like, fuck that. I'm not staying here. <laughs> so it's it's a pretty huge rigging. And then plus to have your dive equipment, which is sixty pounds, plus your camera stuff. That's yeah. just that's just an air bubble waiting to happen. <laughs> that's all I gotta <laughs> say. Well, they they hand you the camera, you know, once you get into the water with your uh, dive equipment. And they hand you the camera, and you hand it and back up. And then you up. sink. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, it's neutral. Uh, it's actually uh, they're 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 neutral. Uh, sometimes you have to put these flotation arms on there to to, to make it neutral. And uh, I'll see. This is this is a subal, and a subal is made in Sweden. And they're uh, this is really the Rolls Royce of camera. You know what subal means in Swedish? I haven't yeah. speak a modicum of Swedish. Sixteen hundred dollars. No, it, it 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 means sucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and one of the reasons their stuff is so hefty is because those divers, <laughs> di their divers dive in really cold 
water and in yeah. very not it's very uh, unforgiving uh, water yeah not good this, for not good for erections is, at all this is oh, good for no. uh, about 300 feet yeah uh, I um um oh, by the way, Phil, you know, you said you bought a Keurig and what happened to your Keurigs? What went wrong with them? Uh they die. Uh I mean, what how was to, happening how, how, was yeah. it stopped giving me let me clo close my uh, Okay. Now that he's not here, what Phil doesn't know is oh, uh anyway, what? Okay. Yeah. Uh and while I was gone, uh the Keurigs they stopped giving you the amount of water in each cup. So instead of getting eight ounces or ten ounces, it started giving me six and five. So I took it back to Costco. They gave me my money back. I bought another one. I went through two or three of them. Finally, I said, screw this. And I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, and I bought a Cuisinart mm -hmm. that uses the Keurig. I've had it uh, six, eight months, no problems whatsoever. Plus, it also allows for a 12-ounce cup of coffee, and it makes it well, hotter. Mine has, makes a 12-ounce cup of coffee. The new uh, Keurig has a, a carafe now. My brother just got yeah, it. Yeah, I have the carafe. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but what happened was uh, the other day, all of a sudden, uh, I'm making a cup of coffee, and it just doesn't stop uh, filling the cup, and it's overflowing. So then oh, I... Oh. Th that's then I went happened. back and tried yeah. it again, and now it's like it's like a, a guy who has prostate problems. It That's was like, what's happening with me. It yeah. would just dribble, dribble. Yeah. So right. what I, I what I what I did is I went and I cleaned some of the some of the nozzles, but that didn't seem to do it. And then no. what I decided was I needed I have a filter, and I took the filter and I repositioned it in there and tightened it up in a way that it wasn't, and all of a sudden. It worked perfectly. Yeah. Are you using bottled water? No. Oh, you're using tap water? Yeah, because I have a filter in there. Yeah, I, I use the Brita water. I have a Brita. Uh, I uh, put the yeah. Brita, the water through well, the. Well, but, uh, but but the filter in the in the in the uh, coffee geez. maker does the same thing a Brita filter does. Mine's like four years old. I've never had a problem with it. Not Which single one, is... one. Really? I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 it's not occurring. <laughs> Yeah, that's a Keurig. Never had a problem with it. At Costco, I said to the girl, I said, do a lot of people bring these back? She says, yeah. I said, you know, she says, I brought mine back three times. Do you leave yours on all well, the time? Well, or do you turn it off when you're done using it? Uh, yeah. They turn themselves off automatically, I think. Yep, I was, but but here, always turn ours off. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, I, I think that what the problem with you, Phil, was you weren't willing to try and figure out why it wasn't working. Well, we you put know, vinegar through it. Yeah, you know, they I say that. that. I tried. I tried the vinegar. Yeah. yeah, they say you you know you should do that on a regular well, did, basis, and we were. Did you have uh, troubles with the Keurig, Rob? Yes, four or five of them. Same, same like mine. And that's uh, what I threw against the wall. Uh, <laughs> my garage. I just took it and I threw it against no, what, the wall. What was what was the problem with it this time? Same thing. It's it works for a little while, and then I want a freaking cup of coffee, and it just dribbles. And you try to fix it. I got to the point where I said, "The hell with did, it." I took did it you back. Have, did you have a back. filter in it? No, no. I don't get had a filter. I haven't used one in four or five years. It, actually, what I yeah, read I is never it, bought it, a filter. Is it, you can it. take a uh, take a hair. Uh, what do you call paper clip? And just go the, to those you know those needle nozzles on the side of them is where the water comes out, and you just poke it up in there and loosen up what might be some coffee grounds that are stuck in there. And that'll do it. Yeah. I just, I took mine back. That and throwing it against the wall will also fix it too. Yeah. The, it had a chance after I did that. When the vinegar <laughs> didn't work, I uh, just took them back. And then when I bought the Cuisinart, yeah, I haven't had any problem. And the Cuisinart takes the same K cups. Uh, in, in price category, it's a little more expensive, but not that much more expensive. It's two hundred bucks, but with Bed Bath and Beyond, they give you a twenty. Uh, I, I get these things in the mail all the time, twenty percent off. Right. So uh, you just go back and you you, you get your twenty percent off. Uh, so what's that like one sixty? Yeah. Uh, uh, so you compare that to the new the new Keurig runs somewhere around if you don't get it at uh, at Costco. It's going to run you somewhere in the neighborhood of $140, something like that. Yeah. So. But the, the Cuisinart is much more substantial, and the tank is a lot larger. So you're not always refilling it every two seconds. Well, the, I don't what? know. I, 
Uh, the, 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 what, what, the tank. The tank. Uh, You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, I, 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 I was going to do that. <laughs> I was going to do that, damn you. You whippersnapper. You whippersnapper snapping your whip. Um, I'm a coffee snob. I love my fresh ground there coffee is every morning. And, and, yep. and I have a, a one of the two coffee makers out there that heat the water to 150 degrees. <laughs> oh, sorry. And it, I get the most amazing. Well, excuse me. It's time for me to stand. My watch told me I have to stand. I always ignore it. You bought one of those. Is that and correct? And I have to move, too. What? Uh, Rob was telling us about the expensive coffee maker. Go for it, buddy. I paid for, yeah, I paid about 150 bucks. It's in a, I think it's Italian or Swiss. But you see, I like the idea that it makes one cup because girlfriend doesn't drink coffee in the house. Right. She goes to Starbucks. I've got the Starbucks cups. But, well, uh, I have the Starbucks beans, and I grind them every morning. Yeah, but I, uh, uh, but you're gonna, you, you have to make several cups, right, at a time. Well, I drink a nice. Yep. I have a, a really nice thermal mug that I put. I make a half a pot. I, I it, it makes eight cups. I make four, and I drink three of them. My wife drinks one, and then we wash the thing. I do next time I make coffee, same thing again. I use thirty grams of raw cough of uh, of uh, coffee beans i grind them make the coffee it is amazing every morning delicious coffee my also coffee lasts me for two fresh. days <laughs> Sorry. yeah i make coffee in the morning and then i'll even have a cold cup of coffee at night and then the next morning i'll have a cold cup of coffee and then i make a fresh pot the next day and I all my kona <laughs> Um, I get all my coffee from Hawaii. Well, I just uh, sent away for some more Sumatra coffee because I love that. It's what I drink every night here. And then, then I also got some Earl Grey tea, which I every now and then I like a nice cup of tea. Are you buying you Sumatra? Curry? I like Sumatra, what? too. You I like some curry? Too. No, I buy them from Amazon. Oh. Uh, yeah, I have curry points because uh, I used to I used to get them automatically from uh, curry. And I changed credit cards. Uh, you know, I, I the credit card got uh, uh, compromised, and I never re-upped. Uh, every once in a while, they say your your card didn't go through. <laughs> but I, I have well, got to tell you something. Uh, you know what I I actually like is PayPal. And you know what my business manager hates most of all PayPal. Why? Well, because he says that it, 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 it's it, and when he just gets the um, receipts from the you know, from the credit card company, the monthly statement, it doesn't say what it was for. And, uh, you know, uh, and I, I, I tried to tell him, just call me and ask me. Every now and then he asked me what I bought anyway, what this item is from Amazon. Why don't you just pay your own bills? Why do you have a... Because, I'm, uh, because I've known this guy forever and he's my friend. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, he's done Sucker. right by me in good times. He's it, when I, he's done right by me in bad times. You know, in bad times he watched over me. Okay, I remember when you hired him. Yeah, I think he was charging you what five percent? No, no, it was a it was a flat yearly fee. Oh, it wasn't five percent? No, th well, there was no there was a management thing when he was doing managing for me. He was managing my career at the time. And he was uh, he was taking fifteen uh, percent, but he was doing oh. all the books. He was doing, you know. Uh, but uh, but but uh, then I got myself a, a real agent, and so I paid him uh, the w for the work he did on the uh, counting. But anyways, you know, it's it's he's a friend. He's a person I trust. Uh, I've known you know him, Phil. You know how long I've known him. You know. Uh, Do you live in Tiburon? One time, I think he did. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, when I knew you and you knew him, he yeah. was in Tiburon. He was in Tiburon. I think he was, then he was in San Anselmo. Then he was in San Rafael. He's now in Larkspur. Yeah. And um, uh, he's just been a good friend over the years, and he's he's looked after me in bad times. You know. I mean, and I there he were also did this for a lot of other uh, uh, famous people. Oh, he was. Um, he was. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of who he was. Uh, the, he, well, David Bromberg, he managed. Uh, the, the, and then he did a lot of, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, well, we call them classical acts, you know. Uh, and I'm trying to remember some of the people that he had because it, it evades me now. There's this, 
uh, 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 this Irish singing group. What was the name of them? Not the Clancy Brothers, the other guys. And, uh, you know, he's, he's in around. He, he was one of the producers of the concert for Bangladesh. Hmm. Really? You know, he did. Uh, he, wow. Yeah, he used to work for George, uh, for, uh, George Harrison. So, yeah. Uh, and uh, what, what's her name? Um, um, who, was that, who was that black singer who kind of quit the business because she had a kid who was born retarded? And wanted to take care Phoebe of Phoebe Snow. Uh, no, uh, no. Who? who? Phoebe Snow. Snow, yeah. yeah. He managed Bryce Phoebe Snow. Oh, yeah, I remember Phoebe. Bryant. Yeah. yeah. But so. She passed away. Yeah, she did. Um, you know, as did Minnie Ripperton. Yes. Who's Minnie Ripperton's daughter? Oh, I don't know. don't know. Maya Rudolph. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so, you know, that's, that's why she has such a good voice whenever she sings, even in parodies. She gets it from her mother. Uh, but uh, anyway, we got about four minutes left here. Let's see here. Uh, so anyway, I, you know, I mean, uh, I think uh, 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 Hillary's doing a good job, I think, of presenting herself to the American public right now. I think she's done a really expert job. It was a new, new deal today. Uh, some impropriety uh, where uh, when she was Secretary of State, the, uh, somebody who had donated a million dollars to the uh, Clinton initiative mm -hmm. was given a position uh, with a security clearance and a, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and he wasn't really uh, vetted the way yeah, uh, tell me some stuff they found out today about Trump. I mean, you're always so down on Hillary that anytime anybody sneezes and says down on know. Hillary, you know, I mean, everything is filtered. You know, you guys, you know, look and will accept anything that is is. And so will Trump. you look when you say we'll accept anything? What do you call Trump? That's really? accepting anything. Uh, Trump, uh, you know, he has his problems. And, uh, you know, he, he, they're digging up uh, plenty of dirt, but uh, Hillary has... That's like saying Stephen Hawking's has a small problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, listen, I, I don't know if he's going to come out of that convention with the nomination. Uh, no, there's people talking about having uh, the delegates putting in some rule that the delegates can vote their conscience. All they have to do is a rule thing. Yes, you're absolutely right. If they don't vote in Trump, man, there's going to be a, oof, I think it'll be riots. Huge. You, th you think so, but uh, most of the people are are full of just steam and 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 uh, puffiness. They they don't they don't do anything. You know, most people are yeah, blowhards. <laughs> yeah, they're blowhards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if they're Bernie supporters or Trump supporters. Where are all these Bernie supporters that were going to burn that burn the town down if uh, Bernie didn't get it? And you know now it is it's much to do about nothing. I don't know. Weren't all those rioters supposedly Mexicans, Phil? No, they were all Bernie these Mexican rioters. Yeah, they were. They were Mexican rioters and Bernie supporters. The the ones that would go to the yeah, Trump that were paid for by Trump. I think they were paid for by Soros. Yeah. You know, who, who made hey, all did anybody, signs? Did, did anybody see uh, Barack Obama on the Tonight Show? I yeah. saw I clips think. of it, you know. Yeah, I thought that, I thought he was good. I, I, I really, I do like him a lot more in, in his second uh, term here. I like I him. Why? Sure because he went on that stupid fucking Fallon show? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I don't like that. And really allowed himself to be Fallon used as a, as, as, as a tool on that show? You know, yeah, he should yeah. have said, well, I'm coming you know, on here, but I ain't I doing it. Fallon was pretty good with Obama. I think Fallon he like sucks. He Fallon d couldn't do a good interview of his life depended on it. He's, do you know well, what he, do you know what he, Obama did most of the talking. You, you know what his producers, <laughs> what his producers are told they have to do or they, they get fired? They have to come up with at least five gimmicks he can do every week. Does he have to love yeah, they don't care about the jokes. They don't care about... Uh, the the questions that are being asked, all they care about is uh, can I uh, put throw a pie in the person's face? You know, <laughs> that's stupidity. Did you anybody see the interview with Letterman or what parts of the interview with Letterman? 
What, so what interview was that? Who's had no. that? Uh, what, Tom Brokaw. It's going to be on Sunday on that on assignment program that NBC is doing opposite 60 Minutes. Oh, cool. But they showed parts of it. And he just said, you know, he said, look, he's, he said, have you, you know, what do you think of the shows that have replaced you? He says, I haven't paid attention to them. I wish them all luck, you know. He said, but yeah. uh, I'm not in that business anymore. And the minute I walked out the door, I left it behind, you know. And he said, yeah. I grew this beard for only one reason. I've been well, shaving for the last 40 years to look good on television. And I figured it was time that I took a little bit of a respite <laughs> from that. And he said, um, you know, oh, hey, I got to get off. I just, excuse me, I, I didn't <laughs> mean that that, that way. That? But well, I just, well, I, well, I, I just looked, election. and the uh, the uh, clock is uh, ticking away here, and I'm going to have a very mad uh, intersection crew uh, who are next over most of this same station. Hey, thank you, Phil Meyer. Thank you, Robert. Uh, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Jason. Everybody clear as a bell now. Rob Alfano, thank you. And Renee Collins, of course, as always, thank you very much. And uh, thanks to the, uh, the crew for uh, being here tonight. So hopefully we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye, everybody. Hey, good night. Okay, good night. And that's it. Let me just uh, get off of here. Uh, that's Amy Manuel trying to call in because she's not listening to see that we aren't off yet. There we go. Now we're off. And uh, uh, that's it for all you TV people. Goodbye. Uh, for all you people out there uh, who are listening, goodbye. And as always, if you see her, tell her I love you. See you Tuesday. Uh, by the way, for the TV people, thanks for being with us. We'll see you uh, next time, okay? Oh, no, I don't want any more of the music. <laughs> That's it. We'll see you. We'll see you later. Let me just stop this whole thing. There we go. You sure you want to end the broadcast? Yeah.